Hey guys, it's Adam here and welcome to yet another episode of Cooking with the Hobo. It's been a while, it's been a real long while since we've done one of these. We're doing something kind of unorthodox today, way beyond my skill level, but I don't give a shit, we're doing it anyway. What we're doing is we're making sushi rolls, also known as California rolls. Alright, roll that intro, let's get on with some cooking. All right, people, so for your California rolls, you're gonna need some stuff. First, you're gonna need a pad or a way to roll up your rolls. I bought one of these. They're uh, Sushi Makey Squadre Bamboo Sushi Mat. This is to roll up your sushi. You put your seaweed on it, it makes it easier to roll. For our protein, we're gonna use King Crab Flavored Alaska Pollock. So, should be all right. Got some cucumber here. We're gonna dice that up. We got some avocado here. Gonna chop that up. We got our rice for the sushi rolls. This stuff here is apparently the easiest sticky rice to make. So apparently all it is is uh, bring rice, water, butter, or margarine, and salt to a boil. Cover, reduce heat low. We're gonna do this in the rice cooker. So that'll be awesome. And of course your seaweed. And something I recommend doing as well for, the, for later on is some soy sauce to dip your sushi rolls in once they're done. So first thing we need to do is get the rice cooked. So before you even consider cooking the rice, first thing you need to do is rinse the rice. For that what you want is a lot of cold water, well not a lot, but enough. Once you got the rice in there, then you want to use your hands and agitate the rice, but don't be like brutal with it. You basically want to get all the starch banged off of it. You see how the water's turning milky white? Well, that's no good. So I'm gonna keep doing this until the water's clear. And that's what you need to do. It could take three to four rinses. Just do what you gotta do. Get that water clear and you should be golden. Alrighty, that sound there is me firing up the rice cooker. We got the rice ready to go. Now we gotta wait for this to be done. And then once it's done, then the cooling process, and then we get the wrapping us up. Some delicious freaking food. And the rice cooker is still going. We'll have to give her more time. It's been about 20 minutes. Alrighty, the rice cooker is done. So let's fluff up some rice. As you can see, this rice is very, very sticky. So that rice is awesome for making sush. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna go ahead and let this cool down. And we'll make our sushi. Alrighty, I cut the guac in half, took the pit out. Nice, nice. Set up my little work area. So we got some cucumbers over here all diced. Some carrots all diced, guac separated. We'll cut that when we need it, and uh, should be awesome. All right, so what you're gonna wanna do is grab some rice. Just grab it by hand. Plop her down, and then you wanna spread it out. You wanna coat this piece of, Jesus Murphy. Keep your hands moist so the rice doesn't stick to your hands. You want to spread it out and get it evenly coated on the whole piece of uh, seaweed. You don't want it too thick, but you want enough on there so that, uh, Jesus, shut up, Tab. So that it's good, you know, you want to have an even coat of rice across the whole piece of nori. You want it to have an edge that doesn't have anything on it. And I got this backwards on the bamboo sheet, so I screwed up already. And this is already my this is my first time ever doing this, people, so keep that in mind when you're gonna be critical in the comments. I saw this done, I saw a friend do this, I watched some YouTube videos, I love sushi, I figured maybe I'll try taking a crack and making my own, you know? Alright, that looks about right. Damn, that rice is sticky. Okay, so theoretically, you want this. You know what? Let me just straighten that out on the uh, on the bamboo here. Just want to try and push it to all the edges. I don't want any pieces with like random rice. Okay. Now I'm going to start with crab meat. So we're going to put crab meat down. 
Hmm. Probably use another piece of crab meat. Some crab meat. We'll put some cucumber. Ah, we'll throw some some carrots in there too. We'll make this a a real hearty one. Flip this over. And then you proceed to rule using your fingers to tuck it underneath. You should be able to get a pretty decent roll. Then, when you're all said and done, you end up with something like this, which looks like ass. So, we'll put this off to the side, and then we'll chop her down the center here. Wish I had a better knife for this. Works better with a damp blade. And that's what the inside looks like. Are you even showing that? Yes, I am. Let me take this, put it like y'all, and then we'll chop them into evenly sliced bits. If I had a sharper knife, life would be good, but I don't, so voila! Eight California rolls. Nice. Get ourselves a plate, we'll start plating them, and then I'll show you the final results. Alrighty, and there you have it. Plate of sushi ready to go. So we have 13 pieces, no, 14 pieces in there. Yeah, 14 pieces in there. And it's om nom time. Had some soya sauce for dip, and what more do you want? Sushi's easy to make, just gotta buy the ingredients and get wrapping. And like I said, the rice I used was pretty sticky. So I'm gonna go grab this in my face. Thank you for watching Cooking with the Hobo. You probably wanna see me eat a piece. Let me grab a small piece here, undipped. And we'll make sure you can actually eat it. Here's a, a tail end. Mmm. This is gonna be a good supper. Hey people, there you go. Thanks for watching. Like, favorite, and comment. Let me know if you make sushi and what you like in it. Some people like mango, some people like the avocado. My avocado was rotten, so I didn't run with any. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, people, peace the freak out.